Hello out there YouTubers, uh, EC Street Preacher here. Just want to give a brief intro to this video. I uh, did my anniversary preach, first anniversary preach, at the place where it all started, the uh, strip club in Rocky Mount. And for such a small town, there was definitely no small stir when we got out there. I mean, demons started manifesting early, and uh, the police showed up, five cars, little town called Rocky Mount, five cars, five police cars show up uh, when, they, when, they, when they were called. And I don't think it's a coincidence. Uh, those of you that know how the, the Walgreens thing played out a few months ago, um, I just think they were ready for me and uh, they kind of whipped up this ordinance, you know, to try to put a stop to me. And, uh, now they say I have to have a permit. And uh, I know the street preachers out there, you're tearing your hair out saying, no, that's against the Constitution. And you're right. I know the Supreme Court decisions. Uh, I've been doing a lot of introspection about this and seeking God about this. And um, basically, I'm just going to leave Rocky Mountain alone. I mean, it's a small town. It's on the decline. And, you know... I got big towns closer, you know, not closer, but I got big towns near me that uh, I can go preach to. So I'm just going to leave them alone and uh, just give them over because I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm done, you know, you know, calling, calling the police department, get everything sorted out and then just, I mean, you know, Rocky Mountain's just not worth it. I mean, uh, you know, people, people are leaving and, uh, I mean, even the churches, you know, they've had to change their message just to try to keep members. You know, I mean, uh, the preach I did at my old church, they switched their message to keep members and not, uh, you know, preach against sin. So, I mean, it's on the decline, and I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to leave it be. But uh, I was very blessed to have Greg Hill uh, join me on this uh on this preach and it was a blessing I mean uh, he hadn't been able to get out and preach in a while and I mean he preached he preached I don't I don't really think I preached that much but he really preached so and I really want to get that out there because uh, he did a really good job but anyway um, I mean you're welcome to comment you know if you think I should uh, keep up the fight in Rocky Mount but I just like I say, it's, it's a small town, it's just getting smaller, and I just don't see a need to keep going out there. I'm, I'm, I'm at the point now where I like the heavy foot traffic and the foot crowds and, you know, lots of foot traffic, you know, big crowds, and you just don't get that. You're, you're not going to get that in Rocky Mount. But anyway, here's a video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, uh, EC Street Preacher here, and uh, we're all set up here. Uh, in an undisclosed location near the strip club and I got Greg Hill joining me this time out of witness protection we're gonna go up there and uh, we're gonna do some uh, some harsh rebukes amen cuz if uh, anybody needs a harsh rebuke it's a strip club exactly I mean you don't get a lot of you know especially these snowflakes they don't really say much if you're going against a strip club you know you go out to a gay parade or something like that, and they might say something like, "Oh, you should be more loving." But strip clubs, they want us to, they want us to be harsh with them. So anyway, and uh, police are cool here. They don't, I don't think they like the place either. So uh, looking forward to a good preach, and I'm gonna sign back in uh, when we get set up over there. Okay, EC Street Preacher here. Uh, we're about to get set up, and Saddam has already seen us. So I don't know what he's up to. He just scurried back inside real quick. But uh, yeah, it's been a long time since he's seen me. So I don't know if he's uh, thought up some new lies under me or not. But we'll see. I got a little backup tonight, so I'm good to go. And uh, we're just gonna sit up under the light right here. And. Uh, can't go past the light pole. You know, we can we can set up right here. But if you go past the light pole, you're on their property. So that's what we're gonna do. 
Okay. I always like to get set up a little bit. And, uh, yeah, there he is. Apologize if the camera angle goes a little weird here. I don't want any beer. No, we don't drink beer. Yeah. We'll offer you some prayer. You want to pray to repent of your of the wickedness that you do here. Which is the root of all evil. Yep, there goes the neighborhood. There goes the neighborhood. The Christians showed up. There goes the neighborhood. Oh, I just wanted to sin in peace. I just wanted to sin and get those hell fires burning under me. I just wanted to do that in peace. I can't do that. I made plenty of money. But it's, uh, it's all going to burn up anyway. You know, uh, some people's kids are in there just because they're a little bit grown up. You know, all, all those uh, women you're pimping out in there, that's somebody's daughter. Think about that. All those women that you're pimping in there, that's somebody's daughter. I don't know if I picked that, but Greg was praying a little bit, so. I'll, uh, I'll stop a little bit for the prayer. So, EC Street Preacher out here tonight preached the gospel and protest this place of great, great, great wickedness. This place is wicked, full of sin, it is evil, with one goal in mind, that is to get the money. And you've wanted me to say it, I've said it many times here, no money, no honey. No money, no honey. So I certainly hope that the people in there went, to the, went by the ATM on their way up here. Because when the money runs out, they show you to the door. You come up here and say you don't have any money, they're probably not even going to let you in. It's, it's good that y'all are smoking. You need to get used to smoke. When you get in hellfire and start burning, and the smoke of your wicked carcasses is going to be rising up. Rising up. Why don't you take your own advice? I came over here driving two and a half hours because I care about your soul. So I'm not talking yeah. about going home. I come here to preach. I'd like to see you guys get right with God. Let me tell you something. I do exist. Your problem is you're lost and you're on the road to hell. And I'm telling you something, you need to get saved. You need to get right with God. He don't exist. He exist. The fool says there is no God. In your goddamn Bible. No, my father does exist. Fuck you and your father. It don't matter what you say because I'm telling you something. He can drop you dead right Good. now if he wanted Go to. Go to fuck the but head, you know what? God, you don't you fucking... Know don't do it, God. Right don't do it. Right don't do it, God. Right don't do it. We just say I just saved your life. I just saved your life. You're here because you're a goddamn hypocrite. I'm here because I you're care about fucking yourself. asshole. Care about no, your own goddamn not soul, not mine. I got right with God. I Get used, right with your goddamn... I used 
to go to places. Then don't go. Just Nobody wants like you here. This. But I'm here to warn you because I'm telling you something. The Bible says you need to flee Fuck from the wrath to come. Bible. It's my Bible, but it's truth. If I, it's God's word. God's holy word. God's holy word. This is God's holy word. And you better read it and heed it. Because one day... Angel Bible. Sir, I, you're, you're okay. Just like, you, you're, you're, you're okay. Just like everybody else, we're all going to die one day. Good, but there's bring two it on. places where you're going no, to die. No, you're not. You're not going to heaven. You're not going there to hell. It don't heaven, exist. There is no there God. There is a hell because you're made up of a body. Wow, that's got to be a miserable life. And a spirit. Your body will die. My body will die one day. But the Bible says that the soul and the spirit will live forever and it's going to go somewhere. See, they're going to go to yeah, heaven. It's going in the ground. If you know turn Jesus. into worm dirt, and that's the fucking end no. of the story. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, what a miserable if, existence. If this, yes. man right, if this man right here is a Hindu and he practices that's his religion his the way, choice. The way he believes. Now, he don't come me. out here listen and to preach if to whoever comes here. If this man practices his religion okay, the way he believes, hold on. Here's he, the, knows that this, he knows that every one of us has a soul okay, yeah, and a spirit. On. Wait a minute. Phil. We don't Wait just a minute, die. Please. He and don't we push don't just his die. fucking religion on we everybody. He well, don't come out fine. here I'm just and yell into a fucking I'm megaphone saying, being a damn I big head. I'm just saying, you don't die and that's it. That's it. You die, no, that's you the end don't. of the story. The worms because eat you up, religion you're done. Because reincarnation. If you die and that's it, how can you be reincarnated? Ask that's him how his, you can be reincarnated. That, that's his religion. Because that's his choice. That, that's he his knows belief. enough he truth don't push it. to know that a body has a soul and a spirit. The only problem is there is no reincarnation. You die, you go to heaven, you go to hell. No, you don't. There is no Oh, yeah, you hell. go to heaven and you go to hell. Uh, you, what's your name? Philip. It's none of your business uh, what oh, my no. name is. My name is recorded in heaven. Hmm. You can't tell your name. What's your name? What's my name? Yes, sir. You don't have to know my name. Why? Why do you want to know my name? You to you know, it's a people. Question, you I appreciate the people. people. I'll give you my first name. My first name's Greg. That's Greg. Okay, okay. Greg. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay. You are talking about an angel leader. Okay. We are here. Where do you preach? Be, I preach like you do. In I church. Preach. You preach like I do. In church. Yes, no. I do. But not I preach on the street. Only, no, not, not on the here. street. Not on the no, we, we are to preach on the street. The Bible. The temple. We go to church. You, you don't lie. To don't don't, fed don't keep lying. Don't keep lying. I see Jesus so, said, "Go into so all many, the world so and many preach people the come from a church in my we place. We go in all the world and preach the gospel. Go the places and the Lord, Lord told, told me something. and this brother right here to come down it's here not, tonight not and to preach this, in you, front of your strip job. Don't run the mouth. Don't run the mouth. Talk if you want to talk. If you know what what religion is. You don't know the religion. My religion is 17 here, 100 year old. What you have? You have nothing." You I lie to the people. Well, Jesus. How the many Holy people Spirit been, living How many kids be raped I've in your church? How many kids? How many kids? You people, your people, in the church. My people. Yes. It might be Christian. some of people Christian. saying how that many, they how many are coming dollars? in the name of Jesus. But you pay Jesus eighty said, million dollars. Jesus said there yeah. will be many false no, I don't prophets care. come million. in my name. Hush, hush. No. You paid eighty million dollars to rape in the kids to shut people's mouth. Eighty million dollars. in my name, and there's a lot of them. Go work someplace. All you got to do is turn on Christian television, and you'll see a bunch of crooks. That's what one, one of you could be. Well, we're know. not. Why are we crooks? We're not asking for money. We are the real. We're not asking for money. We are not asking you for money. People are banging on the street. Why are giving food? I don't food. want a dollar from you. I from you. Go, don't want a dollar from you. Go give free food to no, the people. No, sir. I am it's coming standing. here because I care about your soul. I want. I don't you care about right nobody. I care people. No, need you care. On the table. You care about money. Food. You care about money. You care about your money. But you know what? How did you buy the shirt? How did you buy the shirt? How did you buy the shirt? How did I buy the shirt? I bought it with money. With the money. With oh, you the Lord money? bless me with. But the thing about it is, what you I do I spend with my money? money on a shirt, not you. Right. This is what given. These are given. This is given. your money. There are so That's many the people. Do you up. do with your money they to please so God? Much money from or do you and please place. the devil? You're only pleasing two people in this world. You either please God or you please the devil. I, pay and more. I know you ain't pleasing God because you ain't saved. Can you show me a check? How much? Can you show me a check? How much you gave the money to the? 
to the needies. Can you show me a checkbook? How much you give them? I, I give you more. I give you a lot more than you do. I don't have to work. I don't, I don't have to show you nothing Lord, about how much I give. Work and give the don't needy people money. Give them food. You don't give them food. You don't give them money. This thing out of work. God is keeping the record on what I give. I don't have to run them out. I don't run them out. This is everything alive. This is everything alive. Give the needy people. Give the money to the needy people. You're giving to needy people because you give to needy people. I give to the poor. I give to black people, white people gave them money. So and you're buy giving food. your money you. to I give my money, I work people, every day. Not because like you, you stand think up here it's going to no. earn you a place you, in you, you wherever you believe you you're going to go when you die. I, I, I believe because it's the right thing to do. I, I do it because that's right. I do it because yeah, it's yeah, it's the right thing to do. do. Yeah. But that's what we're doing. Do you do it? You can give. I have to give your money. It's not going to work. Because it's the right thing to do, but you can still die and go to hell. Doesn't matter. And you die and go to hell because you've never repented. Why not give you God by yourself? And you, you have run never out. trusted you, in the Lord you, Jesus in the Christ. Church, you run mouth. You got to tell trust the people shut Jesus. up. You tell the people shut up. We tell you shut up. You listen if you think you are best. All right, I'll listen to what you got to say. How much money you gave the needies? The kids are dying on the street. How much money you give them food? Do you ever give them any money? No, you don't. What did you do for the community? Nothing. And telling the people, I will do it. It's not enough. I can take that thing in front of a church, take some naked girl in front of a church, free, go against you. No, that's not the way it's supposed to. We should go in our religious place, help the needy, give them food. You come with me tomorrow, I'll take you. I'll show you how much free food is given every day. We feed million, more than one million people a day. I gave you website. What are you Go doing check about on. them? What are you doing about them? They need to people's souls. You ain't doing nothing for them. All you doing is feed, feed, feeding the belly. They need to feed the belly. There's a crowd of people. Jesus fed over we, five thousand people. Uh, Jesus. Jesus. You don't want to do nothing. You are blaming somebody else. You don't want to work. You are, and they follow Jesus. You're sitting at your ass. When you're sitting on this, the wind's picking up around here. He found out. You are more than welcome to get no more food. Eating your food. Jesus was about their souls. All the people. Oh my gosh, for the camera angle. You are all the people. You rape the kids, you rape the women in your church. I'm going to tell you something. You need to get right with God. You are raping the women and the kids in your church. No, sir. No, sir. You're wrong about that. I'm going to put this windsock on. I'm going to sign out for now. Okay, we're back. I got the windsock on now. He's a devil. He's filled with it. What doth it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And some of the people here have exchanged money. They've exchanged money for their soul. We're just out here with a simple message tonight, message of the gospel. Repent, turn to Jesus. Repent of your sin. Repent of your the alcohol, the lust. Repent. God is calling all men everywhere to repent. Not much repentance going on in there. A whole lot of love going on in there, though. Love of money. Yeah, these are just employees right now. Hopefully, I have some customers come up soon. I like to hit those customers when they come oh, up. Yeah. Well, they follow the devil. Oh yeah, you see those demons manifesting? Yeah, man. They manifested quick. Big time. Yep. <clears throat> I expect the police to come. Well, they might. They might. I mean, I don't. They've always sided with me, though. Yeah. As long as we're, as long as we're uh, out here, they can't say anything. No. Yeah. They'll probably put a trespass warrant out on you. That's probably why they want your name. Probably. Put a trespass warrant on you. I got a whole bunch. About half the places in Rocky Mountain I can't go to now. I guess I'll there in front preaching. I can't go to Walgreens. <laughs> yeah, I can't go to Walgreens now. They, they got a warrant on me. Like, well, I'm going to go to the CVS across the street. 
1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Yep, every one of y'all believe what we're doing out here is a bunch of foolishness. But unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Power of God. I'm glad that the power of God rests upon me and brother right here. And one day, you're going to wish you heeded to the Word of God. That you didn't cuss God's name in vain. And you're going to wish that you didn't think that God didn't exist. And you're going to find out God didn't invest, exist whenever you stand before Him and you see those nail prints in His hands and in His feet. You're going to bow down and you're going to call Him Lord before He catches you in the lake of fire. Better repent. I pray that one of you go to home tonight, lay in your beds, and I pray that the Holy Ghost will send nightmares that will trouble your mind and bring a forth conviction, Holy Ghost, old time conviction, to bring you to repentance. I pray that the Holy Ghost of God will show you the pit of hell, the literal gates of hell because we care about your rotten soul. We care about you people. That's why we're here. That's why I drove two and a half hours to come here to tell you you need to repent. But I used to frequent these kinds of places. They're no good. You're sending more people to hell. You're sending more people to hell. You think you are doing good by here. Here's a little bit of money. Here, I'll buy you a hamburger, buy you a sausage biscuit, buy you this, buy you that. You think that's giving you an easement of your mind and your conscience? I pray the Holy Ghost of God will get a hold of your conscience tonight and your dreams, and you'll see the gates of hell. And you'll repent and trust Jesus. Let me tell you something. We ain't no Jim Bakers. We ain't no Kenneth Copeland's. We ain't none of that crowd on television. We're the real deal, brother. I'm going to tell you something. I doubt any of you people got 10 years left of your life. I doubt you got five years. I'm going to tell you something tonight. And if I, God, Holy Ghost gets a hold of me, and I get to prophesying, Oh, Lord, it better be, watch out. Because I'm going to tell you something. My friend, you're going to go to hell. You're going to burn. You're going to burn in hell. You better repent and get right with God. I'm going to tell you something. I ain't I'm screaming. I'm preaching. It's not for The Bible says to speak loud. I don't care what you say. I ain't here. I ain't here to obey you. I'm here to preach the word of God to you. You better repent. I'm gonna tell you something. You better repent. You better repent. Repent and trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Crackhead, drug headed. You are drug headed. Repent. The Lord Jesus Christ. You do crack. You are doing crack. You smoke crack. No, I don't smoke crack. Yes, you smoke crack. No, yes, you do. Yes, you do. There's, ar there's already one father of lies, Saddam. There's already one father of lies. You're screaming. You smoke crack. No, sir. Yes, sir. You smoke crack. I ain't crack. never smoked crack. No. Done a lot of drugs in my life, but you, not, yes, I ain't done do. no drugs in over you 30 do. years. You do smoke crack. I've been safe 31 years, crack. friend. I ain't smoking no crack. I'm older than you are. I never. I don't care how old you are. You smoke crack. 
You think you I smoke, smoke crack? Yes, I know. But I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, you smoke you full of the devil. Stop. You full of demons. Stop screaming. You full of demons. You no, like sir. Go, oh, you, I ain't got wound up yet. I'm, go I'm in first gear. You're mental. You're mental. I'm in first gear. You are mental. I'm in first gear. You're mental. You're mental. You're mental. You're mental. You're mental. Yeah, I'm crazy. I'm crazy for Jesus. Yeah. You're I'm mental yeah. for God. I'm mental for Jesus. You're right about that. We, we have the mind of Christ. We got the mind of Christ. You just said that right. You're mental. Yeah, I'm mental for Christ. I got one mind. Bible says, let this mind be in you which was in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm glad I got the mind of Christ. I'm glad I'm saved, born again, washed in the blood. I'm glad I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm glad I've been baptized in the Holy Ghost. What about you, friend? You've been baptized in the Holy Ghost? You ever been saved? You ever been washed in the blood of Jesus? Huh? Come on now, come preach with us. Oh, that's one customer gone. That's one customer gone. Well, he got to hear that word. He pulled out of here, didn't he? He got to remember, boy, his old time mama. He got to, he got to remember about, yep. uh, about that time his mama used to pray over that boy in church and sing and shout and get filled with the Holy Ghost in church. And my friend, he heard some old time preaching like his preacher used to preach when he was growing up, when his mom used to shout the victory and say, glory, glory, glory. And he just left on out of here. You ain't doing no business tonight, friend. No business tonight. When you die, you will face the God of the Bible. You won't face Allah. You won't face one of those over three million Hindu gods, you won't face Buddha, you're going to face the God of the Bible. Jesus. So you need to learn what the God of the Bible likes and doesn't like. And he doesn't like this place right here. He is angry at this place. The Bible says that God is angry with the wicked every day. Every day. Every day he's angry at this building. Every day he's angry at all these employees. Every day, every day he's angry. So if you anger God every day and you die and you face him, what's the judgment going to be? We'll judge it. We'll judge it for free right now. Our judgment is much better than the Jesus, the judgment Jesus is going to give you. When you stand before Jesus, that judgment ends with you ending up in the lake of fire. But our judgment, we can warn you and set you on the right path. That's right. Oh, they did call the police. Yeah, they called them. They don't like oh, the well. time preaching, brother. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, they never they never kicked me out before. We'll, they we'll don't see like what happens. Old time preaching. They don't like it. I, I, I think you'll be. I think you're going to be disappointed, Saddam. It's never worked in the past. Has never worked in the past. They don't like it when the Holy Ghost shows up. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Just out here with the gospel message. Out here with a separate on this, gospel message. On this list. Reason. Don't be on this list right up here. If you're on this list, you're in big trouble with God. You need to repent. Hellfire awaits you. just see what happens with the police here but yeah um i mean all the other times i've been out here it's just well, keep that thing yeah important. they just uh they just uh i mean they're not they're not like the lexington police here put it that way <laughs> <laughs> well i've had lexington police on yeah. more than once and they ain't yeah. me yet yeah a little different than, than lexington out here a little more like I hope you I hope you went by the ATM before you got here. You show up here without money, they're gonna show you to the door. And Jesus Christ is watching you. How's he gonna feel about you when you walk in that place?
Well, praise God, we out here. This old ungodly hellhole right here. We're on Facebook Live. Me, brother EC Street preacher out here. Yeah, that's right. The Holy Ghost has showed up to this place tonight. Yep. And they done called the police. That's well, nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. Seems like every time we preach somewhere. Yeah. I know every time I preach. Yeah, every time police come to police. Yeah, police come out. They don't like old time preaching. They don't like the Holy Ghost showing up. The devils hate it. So here comes all the, here come Rocky Mountain. No, they never send uh, all of them. Here come three of Yeah, them. three three cars. Right, Must be a slow night. Right now. No small stir, right? So, uh, so pray for us. This is it, Brother E. C. This is his anniversary preach. One year. One year preach. Out of all the places I chose to do my anniversary preach, I chose here. Be you should feel honored, Saddam. I came out here one year. One year ago today, on this spot, I started preaching. Hallelujah. Saddam, you should feel honored. All those places. I've been, I've preached in California, Oregon, Louisiana, all over North Carolina. You should feel honored, Saddam. Amen. All right, I'm gonna cut this off. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're Go gonna ahead. yeah we're gonna um tone it down a little bit for the yeah. for the police when they oh, come yeah. up here. Oh, we cooperate. We cooperate yeah. when the police comes. At least I always do, and I know you do too. Oh yeah. Hello, how are you? Hey, good evening. Sir? Good evening, officer. Good. Officer. Uh, doing good. Officer Chad Hitchbeth. All right. Nice to meet you. Who am I speaking with? Uh, Philip Brown. Philip Brown. Greg Hill. Greg Hill. Yes, All right. Sir. What's bringing y'all out here tonight? I'm just out here preaching the gospel. Yeah, preaching okay. the gospel. Can you, uh, well, thank you very much. Do you live around here? I saw, I see the No, Lexington. I live in Lexington. Okay. I drive two and a half hours to come here. Okay. Preach with my brother here. And you're all like, uh, blood brothers or, or, uh, we're, we're brothers, brothers in Christ. Brothers okay. In Christ. Yeah. All right. That's what I was going to ask yeah. next. Okay. Um, please excuse me one second. That's fine. Oh, yeah. What I'm doing here is I'm uh, accessing my camera yeah, that's good. that you see right here, and I want to see. I just want to capture this so I ain't got to exactly. write, write anything down. Okay. Oh, you're not going to get anything. Yeah. Oh, this technology has came a long way. Yeah. I know, I wish I had a camera like that. <laughs> <laughs> sure has, it's good to have. I'm glad you guys got it. The, um, have you ever done this before? Oh, oh yeah, this is my fourth time out here, yeah. Okay. Have you ever been inside the, the establishment at all? Oh, that was a long time ago, but no. Okay. Other Christians, we don't go to places like that yeah. no more. I understand. I used to when I was in the Navy. Uh, well, I'm Army, he's Army, um, so we got something in common. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I shook your hand yet. Yeah. Um, but we got we got some issues here, okay? Of course, you know, it's a free country. You have the right to protest and stuff. But being inside the city limits that you said you've done it before, have you ever applied for any permits or anything like that? No, they, they've never brought it up. Okay. All right, because you're in violation of a couple of different city ordinances, all right, and being in the roadway, you're obviously uh, impeding traffic. Okay, and that, that'll be against Chapter 20 uh, mm -hmm. in our state's um, statute. Okay, well, I mean, okay. we can try to move it up up here somewhere. No, you so can't yeah. move it up here because then you'd be on their property, and they've already discussed to us that they don't want you on the property. Okay. Well, there is a five-foot easement from the road, and I have been told that before by Rocky Mount Police Department. Okay. But we're, for tonight, it's going to be the curb. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I can't, you know, I'll have to call a city engineer out here to do marks and stuff and all this other stuff. Yeah, That's we not going to do that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you have to be out of the roadway and you can't be on anybody else's property right. and you can't have they were saying you have uh, a, a mega what is that is that just like a this is just a piece of plastic and it's coming apart unfortunately okay. this is just a piece of plastic okay so it's not so yeah I, I know i know i do need to amplify the sound permit for an electric okay but this do is just a piece of plastic or anything out here like that mm -hmm. no okay nah. and what, what is all what is the, i see it's holding up your sign here but what is it is it like gear or something that you yeah want? yeah 
Is there, it's any, just, is there anything inside the bag? This is mine. I, like um, my Bible and I, I got yeah, I got my Bible and my uh, spare battery, okay. uh, some water. Okay. That's all I got. I don't have any weapons. I don't even own a gun. Okay. All right. Well, I can definitely understand where you're coming from. The, um, like I said, you're in the roadway. We can't have you in the roadway. We can't have mm -hmm. you on anybody else's private property. Of course, that's private property owned by. I don't know who owns that real estate. I'm guessing yeah. it was a real estate company that would own that. Um, and we can't have you coming up on that their property. Like I said, for tonight's purposes, it's going to be the curve. Okay. Um, so we're basically going to have to get y'all to leave. Okay. Well, I mean, I've been out here preaching before, and they said as long as I don't go past the light pole, it's okay. I mean, I got all this on video. Okay. Well, like I said, you're going to have to take that up with the city in that in that regard. Okay. okay. Well, tonight, I will. Tonight, if we're going to call it the curb, and if obviously if you're on this side of the curb, you're in the street, and you're on that side of the curb, it's going to be their property, okay? Because like I said, I can't call what it is which without right. an engineer coming out here looking at the map that they've drawn up and then looking out here on the street, okay? You understand? I, mm -hmm. I understand what you want to do. I'm a proud American. You're a proud American, okay? But you're in violation of a different of city ordinance and uh, general statutes at this point, okay? And that's working. That's what's working against you. Okay. If you have any grievances with the business, there's, there's no, there's no, uh, there's no sidewalk. Yes. Now, if there's sidewalk, we could freeze. I, I do hope you know that uh, First Amendment trumps any ordinance. But that'll be something that you would have to take even up though, before you come even out. Even though, yeah, it was. But that's why you have to go out and you have to apply for the proper permit. Well, you don't have to. No, you don't have to apply, no, apply not, for permits. Not, not for religion. I mean, that's not uh, for religion and for. Uh, I mean, that's a Supreme Court decision. You don't have to apply for permits. Yeah. But that's something that you have that's, to take up before Supreme you come Court, out that's here. That's Supreme Court. Sorry, decided that. That's yeah, I mean, you don't have to have a permit. That'll be beat. To preach. That'll, that'll be beat. I mean, this is my fourth time out here. I mean, I've always, and you know, Lieutenant Lieutenant Staten, you know, I've talked to him on several occasions, and. uh you know, I mean, they've come out here before and they said, as long as you don't come past that light pole, you're okay. And again, tonight. And I've got that on video. Okay, but is that something you got to take up with the city? Just take it up. Okay, this, is, a, this is a. Just get in touch with him. I this is above my out. head. All right, and, and we have to go with what it is because our supervisor's already been notified. The supervisor of our supervisor's already been notified of this because, I mean, this is a legit action. You're out here trying to demonstrate against something. And if you don't have any of the proper permits in the city, then you're in violation of the city ordinances, and then being in the street, you're in violation of the state statutes. Part. Okay. Permit ordinance. I know that. I know that's not right. And do you? I mean, I know. But you're I, doing your job. I understand. That. Yeah, I mean, we're we're not. You know, we're not angry with y'all. It's just. I'm not arguing with you. I'm wondering why. I mean, I, this is the, <laughs> my fourth time out here, and this is the first time I've been asked to leave. But the three times I was out here before, I was okay. Again, I wasn't out here at those other times, and uh -huh. I can't. I, there's no way that I can pull up the history on that and look at that. And like I said, this is already coming down from the moment this call came out. It's been coming downhill saying, this is what we're looking at. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if in order for you have to do this, number one, you have to go through. You have the right to do this. And I've never heard of any type of demonstration being denied, being denied through the city as long as it's been right. run through them saying, hey, we're going to do this. this um, Protest this, or this protest demonstration or demonstration or, 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 or preach or anything like that. I mean, even the churches who, who want to come out in certain neighborhoods or be on mm -hmm. certain property, they go through those official channels. I mean, I understand, yes, the Constitution trumps everything, um, but these laws and city ordinances are enacted. Yeah, so that, I've got all the preachers right, right here. So that everybody, the businesses, the, the, the people driving on the roadway, your safety is looked after and all of this. Yeah. I understand you might not agree with it, but... Yeah, at least it's a dead end street. I understand. Okay. So we're going to... Where have y'all... Did y'all park or did y'all walk? Where'd you park at? Yeah, we're, 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 we're parked over yonder. We're not, we're not parked around here. Okay. Well, the... Um, this establishment, I can tell you, is uh, it's not a strip club. I don't know if you were thinking that's what it was. It is that well, it, it don't used mind. to be. Well, I mean, it's okay. still, though. come on. I mean, you know. I mean, look at the sign. <laughs> I mean, okay. gentlemen's playground. I, I mean, they don't, don't have slides in there, and you know, you know stuff like that. You go in a place like that. Where I personally would not, now? because that's not what I do. Okay. 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 But I know Jesus did not. 
I mean, I know Jesus did not just not go into places like this because of what they stood for. I mean, yeah. they needed just as much as we needed, okay? Uh, but I'm not going to get into a, a I, sidewalk I preaching back and I forth. Know. I know. Um, so what we're going to need y'all to do is we're going to need y'all to just leave the area, and then mm -hmm. you can apply for the proper permits. You can inform the city about your discrepancies with your locations. And then once you get all those proper approvals, you can come back here, out here, wherever the city tells you you're good to go, and then you'll be able to do what you want to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So exactly which laws are we breaking right now? Okay, you're impeding the flow of traffic right now. That's chapter 20. I don't know the sub number on that. Do you know that off the top of your head? And there, there's um, the city ordinances. I don't know off the top of my head, but I'll have to get them. If you want me to get them, I can get them for you. But I have to go back and look at the numbers, the specific numbers in my pamphlet. Uh -huh. Is that if that's something you want me to do? Then I can yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I, I want, I want, I want to see them. You they're know. all online. Um, mm -hmm. What is it like municipal? All you have to do is Google Rocky Mount uh, City Ordinance, and it should come up and be like municode.com or something like that. And you'll be able to see every single city ordinance, every uh, every different chapter and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Well, I, yeah, I would like to see it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have a smartphone? Yeah. Uh, you can look it up yourself, and at the same time, I can get uh, I can get my pamphlet. Are you talking about the Muni code? Yes. Oh yeah, just look up the municipal codes. I look it up for election. The thing about it is.